Amen. Amen. Now, look at that Ephesians again, chapter 5, verse 22 mm -mm, to 32 now. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Next verse. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Next verse. Husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or recall or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourish it and cherish it, even as the Lord, the church. <clears throat> Next verse. For we are members of his body and of his flesh and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave father and mother and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. So brother Paul talks about husbands and wives, but how many times does he talk to the woman? Look at the, the, the verses where brother Paul talks to the woman is only in three verses. Ephesians 5, 22, 23, and 24. Three times, only three verses. The man, he talks to the man in seven verses. Wife, three verses. Man, seven. Man, he talks to the man from verse 25 to 33. So who has a greater responsibility in marriage? The man. So he has a greater responsibility. And if you observe, when he gives instructions about the children, he doesn't talk to the mothers. He talks to the fathers. He says fathers, when talking to the children, he said nothing to the mothers. So the responsibility for the children is majorly on the fathers. We will get to that. <clears throat> so who is the husband? Huh? Who is the husband? No, don't say the man because you could be get man. Say the male. <laughs> say the male. Okay. Who is who is the husband? And the female is the woman. Okay, or the wife. The man in the marriage who, who is a husband has greater responsibilities because he is to model Christ. The husband is to model Christ. And the responsibility to model Christ is huge. The man is to model Christ. While the woman is to model the believer in Christ. The man is to model Christ while the woman is to model the believer in Christ. The man is to model Christ. He is to model Jesus in marriage. So the question is, the man you want to marry and you cannot sleep at night because you want to marry that man, most times that man that is keeping that girl awake is sleeping. So the question is, who is really keeping you awake? You can't sleep? Maybe a demon somewhere. The man must act as Jesus. Now, that instruction can never be to an unbeliever. An unbeliever can never act as Jesus. Because an unbeliever doesn't have the capacity to act as Jesus. He's not born again. The husband must love as Christ. Which means that instruction is for Christians. Because only believers can act as Christ. Unbelievers don't have the capacity. They don't have the wherewithal. They don't have the resources. 
Because the, the word husband, love your wives, is the same word for John 3, 16. For God so loved the world. Agapo. Agape. Agapo. It means sacrifice. That love is sacrifice. It's not a bunch of emotions. I feel, I don't feel. No, that love, your wives, is sacrifice. To give your life to someone. To give your life to someone. Most of the time, it is a woman in the, you know, in most of those lustful relationships that says, I will give you everything. But the wife is not asked to give her life. Is the man that is asked to give his life because Christ gave his life, the church received, Christ gave, the woman receives, the man gives, the woman doesn't give her life, the woman receives the man's life. But some women will give their life, give their shoe, give their leg, give their everything misplaced priority the woman don't give the woman receives just like the church didn't give christ everything anything the church only received what christ gave teaching good i'm not saying you shouldn't give your heart to your to the man but I'm saying it is the responsibility of the man to give his all to the wife because he is supposed to mirror Christ in the marriage. So, a Christian relationship must model Jesus. That is why men, as a man, you cannot just marry anybody. You cannot. 